Hey guys, welcome back to Tower of God New World. In today's video, I wanted to talk about exclusive equipment. I had someone in Discord like say a good video idea would be a tier list for exclusive equipment. I think it's way too early for that and I don't have the knowledge of testing absolutely every character. So I don't want to make like a tier list, but what I want to do is I want to go through my order of upgrading exclusive equipment on my account. Now, if your account's a bit more progressed, you probably got some done, but I want to go through my personal priority list and then also talk about characters not on my priority list and that might be considerations for you guys and different breakpoints for different characters on where I would get X character to level 10 and then I would work on Y character to level 20 and then maybe go back to X character and get them to 30. That sort of thing because um, different different breakpoints for different characters are definitely important. So before we do that, I'm going to pop one temple because guys, you know, after my summon session, I went ahead and did some more summons. I've t I did. I did another 60 summons and I got two Hwas and a bomb and I am one Hua away from getting her to five stars. So we're going to do a cheeky little pull here. I'm always going to keep myself with 6,000 plus gems, but I want to see if you guys can bring me the luck. Oh, you guys are hopeless. You guys are hopeless. Give me the bad luck. <laughs> okay. I had to do that at the start there. All right. So let's go, let's go, let's go into these priorities. So for me, I'm going to put a notepad up on screen as well that you can look and I'll keep dragging it out as we go. So you can see the order in which I am doing it. So the first one for me was Hua. Now, Huarian is just so, she's, she, this is honestly, uh, if you carry, so, so the first thing I want to mention is the first characters you really want to look at is your carry. If you don't have Hua as a carry, her 10 is still good, but your carry should be more of an option. If you're using Hat's carry, then getting him to 20, which we'll talk about a bit later, is going to be his break point, uh, his first break point for me. But Hua, if you're using her as a carry and the, the two carries I'm going through are going to be Hua and Ihua, so those are the two that I'm going to focus on here. But for me personally, on my account where I was going with Huarian first, her level 10 was the most important thing for me because she just feels like she's not a character without it. She just feels horrible. She just dies too quick. So her 10 was the first must have that I wanted to do. Then after I got her to level 10, my next priority was going to be my Ihua all the way to 30. So you can see here with my Ihua, she's at 18 at the moment. I don't have enough to upgrade her, but I am going to upgrade her straight to 20 and then straight into 30. 30. Her 20 isn't that crazy uh, for me. Yes, it's a bit of defensiveness, which will help in certain situations, but the thing you really want is her level 30 because she gets that big juicy damage. So my second priority is going to be getting her to there. Now for some people, and I'm running an experiment here, it could be argued that maybe my next thing I should invest in is Hua or uh, Huarian all the way up to 30, but for me, I'm doing something different and I am going to go ahead and do the bunny on a box whose name I really suck at, I'm going to do her to 20. Now, the reason being, I've done a little bit of testing and, and I'm not telling you you guys should do this. This is an experiment from me, um, but her at 20, uh, it basically changes her to have a silence, um, which to me is huge because you can disrupt enemies' uh, rotations and allow like my Hua carry to do more in the time she needs to do it. So I think it's going to be a good play. I don't know. But that's why I'm saying I'm doing it. I'm not recommending you to do that. So you can leave this one out if you want and do her later on. I just think she's going to be a solid help for me considering I've invested so heavily into my Hua already on her just dupes essentially. So she is the next one that I'm going to do. Then after we do that, we're going to jump back into my Huarian and get her all the way to 30 because I see 30 as being not the greatest like if we look at the effects here they're not the like it's not like game breaking the jolt immunity is going to be really nice um but I, I i just because she's my carry i want every bit of investment into her as i can same as ihua and for that same reason when we look at going from level 30 to 40 all my reds are going to go into warian and all my yellows are going to go into ihua pretty basic now after warian that's like this like sort of carry phase done. Now, the only reason I put Zha, Zha, uh, Zha, the, the bunny on a box in there is because her 20, uh, getting her to 20, I also had to get Hua to 20 in that phase. So I need to get her to 20 before I can put that investment into Hua. Now, you can the next characters you can do while you're doing them, because now I've got no one that I'm trying to invest those uh, 0 to 10s in. Uh, and the next one that I'm going to do is going to be Evan, but not just to 10. I'm going to do him all the way up to 20, because I think Evan, let me just expand this out. Um, Evan's 10 is pretty poor. 
It's just a bit of extra healing, but his 20 is when he starts restoring extra energy and energy is always nice. It can be super clutch in situations. Uh, so I really like that 20. So here's the next one that I'm going to do and I'm going to take him to 20. Um, after that, I am going to do, and this is the last one that I have on my list, but it's going to be bomb all the way to 30. Now, it depends on account progression as well, because by the time I get to here, depending on resources, I may be needing a third carry, in which case I would adjust, uh, but obviously I'm going to need to summon copies. So this could change, uh, but this is what I've got planned so far if I only need two units. But once I get to chapter 21, I'm going to need a third carry, so I may swap that up, uh, but I also got to obviously summon dupes of that carry. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is quickly uh, the SS, the other SSR plus units. If you're using, if you've got high dupes of a data mashini uh an evan kell a big mashini um a data zahad obviously they're going to be ones you want to invest in if you've got dupes of them and you're using them in a carry capacity over on my other account i had three dupes of zahad and got him to three green so i put i gave him all of the exclusive equipment upgrades to level 30 i think he's 35 or something like that because it made sense because he was being used as a carry but otherwise i wouldn't bother investing in those units unless you are using them in a carry capacity so now i wanted to go down and talk about some other units um, that I wanted to go over, which I haven't gone over yet. So let's go and scroll down. The first one is going to be Endorsey. Now I'm going to talk about Endorsey uh, in two different capacities. One as being Endorsey Cheese. Now she's one you might consider getting to 10 once you've got the like other core units. Um, I haven't been using Endorsey Cheese too much on this account, so I'm not going to do it at this stage. Um, but giving that defense decrease, it can be quite nice on the enemy that you hit, especially if you are grouping them up to snipe that enemy. Um, honestly, like I said, this is a consideration, not one you should do. It can be nichely good, uh, but it's not like the most important thing. But if you are using her as your carry, like I mentioned with other carries, um, you do want to put that heavy investment in. Uh, now, the next one that I want to talk about is going to be hats. Now, hats, like I mentioned earlier, I don't actually have him on this account. Uh, so his big one for me is going to be his plus 20. He starts blocking projectiles, which is really huge for his survivability. Now, obviously his 30 is going to be great too, but it comes down to, is his 30 better than your other carries 30? For instance, if I'm using a hats and a Huarian, I would do hats to 30 first. I think that's more important. If I was using hats and Ihua, I would get Ihua to 30 first because I think hers is more important. Important. So hats is either all the way to 30 or like I've put here, you can do hats to 20 as his key breakpoint. Then you can do your other carry if it's better and then you can do hats to 30. That's what that means there on my list. Um, but you know, it just depends on what your other carry is and how good their 30 is on whether you need it. If you got lucky on Dada's the hard copies and you're using him as your other carry, his 30 is probably more important than hats is 30. Uh, that's what I'm looking at when I say that. Um, now the next one that I want to look at is a Nuray. Now she's just all of hers are really solid. So she's one I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm not really going into a dark team at the moment. So I'm obviously not going to rush into it because we will get new units and stuff like that. But honestly, just all of her upgrades are pretty solid and things to consider if you want to. Um, we've got the attack decrease, which may not seem crazy, but it's great for survivability. An extended stun, which may not seem crazy, but an extra second can buy you some time to RNG your way out of stuff. Um, and then this is the big one that I really want to test. I've done a little bit in the trial. It's hard to sort of get a feeling when it's, you know, you're setting up situations in the trial, um, but getting invincibility for four seconds after the protection of her ult is really quite nice in my opinion. But once again, I haven't tested enough, so I wouldn't say do it. That's why it's on my considerations list. Um, so that is her. The next one that I want to look at is, because I know a lot of people will be using him if they're using the purple team. Uh, that is Kuhn. I'm undecided on it. Like, it's not bad. Um, we got the defense, the defense decrease, which is nice. Um... And then we've got uh, the swiftness decrease. Uh, and then we've got the energy decrease for the enemy. If it was energy increase for ally, then it's like a no brainer for me because it's something that's completely controlled. But honestly, I don't see investing in him as being a really high priority. I think he's just a good unit on his set on himself. The biggest investment that you can do into him, which I don't recommend going straight to on priority wish list because he's not a carry, but his uh, getting him max duped, I think end game, which is a long way away for a lot of people, is where he gets his biggest buff because he can ult sooner 
Mona and stun the whole enemy team, essentially, if you have them grouped up. So that's where he goes. Now, the other two that I am unironically considering the most out of all these units that I've just put in the considerations on my account are going to be Grey and Gosing. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I know I'm butchering that name as well. Uh, but Grey... Like, unironically, I use her with my Ihua, and she just, every level, is just increasing the damage that I can deal to enemies that she hits with her Grey Hole, which is honestly really nice. So, uh, you got, it's obviously um, got to be a magic main damage dealer that you're using to take advantage of this, but she's one I'm seriously considering. Like, if I get all my key units to 10, and then I have a bunch of spare leftovers that I can go to plus 10 from the towers and stuff like that, then I will probably just throw it into her if I don't have anything else that I'm really desperate to do. And the other one, because these are two units that I still use in just about every formation that I do, um, is her. Because her one, at base, she's giving crit. So she's giving um, attack speed and crit at the start of the battle. Then she increases that at level 10. She increases it again at level 20. And then... At level 30, it becomes a team-wide buff for the first 15 seconds of battle, giving you uh, attack speed and crit rate. And I think it ends up being, what is it? It's 20% crit rate, and I think it's a 15 base attack speed, so like 25 attack speed, which isn't too bad. But once again, those are characters. I'm still not sure in these units on how long they're going to have viability, so I don't want to do it, but they're just other ones that are unironically, they're... they're Exclusive equipment looks really strong and they're ones I'm considering. So that is my roundup of exclusive equipments. Like I said, on my account, uh, I'm doing Hua, I did Hua to 10. Now I'm working on my Ihua to 30. Once I get her there, I'm going to do uh, Ja uh, Bunny on a box to 20. Then I'm going to get my Hua up to 30. I may swap these two around depending on how I go. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, I'll have to see how I go. It could go either way. Like I said, this one's a bit of a gamble play for me. Uh, but then after that, I'm going to do Evan to 20 to get that energy. And then Bob to 30. But I got to wait and see where I'm at. Because by the time I get to this, I may not do that. Just because I may be looking for a third carry by that point. Uh, and that could definitely change the direction that I go for that account. So I'm going to hold out on doing Bomb to 30 until I have... Have enough resources to get someone all the way to 30 um, and then I'll look at doing it but that's everything that I have in my mind for what I want to do for my account um, and then these are all like I said all just considerations for you guys I'm not too sure 100% on them except for the hats one I think 20 is a great break point uh, if you're running hats and Ihua as your carries I would do hats to 20 and then Ihua to 30 if you're running hats and Huarian I would do uh, Hua to 10 then hats to 20 uh, I mean sorry I would do Hua to 10 and then hats all the way to 30 because I think his 30 is more important than uh, Huarin's 30. So that's my basic thoughts about it. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I am not right. Um, I'm not making a, a tier list or a specific uh, you know, you have to do this type thing. This is just my thoughts, what I'm doing personally. So if you have any other ideas, please put them in the comments, have that discussion because I don't think there's any one right answer and it all depends on what units you use as well. These are the units I use, so it's more impactful. But if you're using different units consistently, just look at how the value that you think you're going to get out of it and then go with that. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.